Hey guys, this is episode 66 of the Daily Bespoke Edge. I'm Ryan Wagner, your host. And this past week I was traveling and I met a handful of people and the topic came up about uh, how often to dry clean a suit. And it's a very common uh, question that we get, to be honest. Whether it's a, a sport coat or a blazer, you know, any kind of men's jacket, there's a lot of misunderstanding about how often to go. And the punchline is that you should dry clean your jacket or your suit as little as you can get away with. And the reason is that dry cleaning is still a very harsh process. It really puts the fibers and, you know, especially your gear liner, through a lot of wear and tear. And even a really good dry cleaners, of which there's not very many around to be honest, you know, but a really good one is still going to have kind of a harsh process. And so you want to do it as little as possible. But you know, to be completely honest with you, you know, we wear our clothes, our suits, and you shouldn't treat them like they're this precious thing because really a suit and the world of menswear, you know, it's something that we wear and that we live in. And I don't think it's uh, wise to really treat it like it's a special thing that you can't really, you know, live in. Because really, you know, all clothing is lifestyle clothing. And so there's kind of that balance that's different for everybody. And for me, I try and dry clean you know, about three times a year, and I'm wearing my jackets quite a bit. And so what I look for is if there's getting it to be any stains on it, you know, visible stains, obviously you want to clean that. Sometimes you can kind of spot clean something at home, you know, like just a wet, um, you know, a wet towel or a washcloth or something and kind of, you know, press it and then just, you know, see what you can do. Now, if that doesn't work, and a lot of times you get maybe stains on the arms or if you spill hot coffee on, say, your gray suit, you might want to go get that clean because it's going to be pretty darn obvious. And so when that happens, that's perfectly fine. You know, take it in, get it cleaned. But a lot of times we, we feel like we should get it cleaned because we've, you know, quote unquote, worn our, our suit a lot or it's been a long time. And so we just kind of feel like we need to take it in and get cleaned. But above all else, if there's nothing visibly dirty, you know, just give it a smell test. If it smells bad, I mean, yes, take it in, get it washed, get it cleaned. But if it's fine, you know, you might be okay just, um, you know, airing it out, which kind of sounds silly, like you're, you're camping here, you're like, you come home from a trip and air it out. But, you know, really, if you have a wool suit, and a lot of men's clothing is wool, wool does a really good job about not smelling bad. And so if it does kind of start to get a little funky smelling, sometimes just hanging it outside if you have a chance or in the day, or just in the room letting it you know, air out, can really do a lot of good. So otherwise though, a couple things you can really do and you should be doing to keep your suits in good shape and maybe not give you that feeling that you need to go get it dry clean is obviously to hang it on a nice hanger. And we did a video about this a while back, but you wanna have a wider hanger that has that shoulder width style. You know, you're not gonna use a typical really narrow plastic or or dare I say wire hanger because that's just too darn thin, you're gonna lose the shape in the shoulder. But also, you know, if it's not hanging that nicely, that's kind of what leads to wrinkles and um, you know, your suit just not looking that good, which can all kind of contribute to giving you the sense that, oh, it's time to take it in and get it dry cleaned. So your suits, you know, the, the key takeaways here is that they are clothes to be worn and you don't need to think that they're extra, extra special. At the same time, you know, do use your best judgment. If it gets smelly, if you have a visible stain, it's time to dry clean it, that's perfectly fine. But as a general rule of thumb, I think a lot of men from our experience with our clients and, and the people I met with uh, last week when this topic came up, there's a tendency to kind of feel like you need to dry clean something. And that leads to over cleaning, which can lead to the, you know, your, your suits, your sport coats degrading at a faster pace than it should be. And now it's getting very expensive, right? A high quality garment can last a long time, but if it, you know, treated with respect and has some good uh, care and maintenance. So I hope this helps. We'll have a few more topics in the future and we'll go a little more in depth, I think, on dry cleaning and maybe, um, you know, some of the, the very kind of subtle things you can do to preserve the, uh, the life of your coat. And it also, also depends on the fabric. So we'll get, all, we'll get into that in the future. But for now, just want to touch base on uh, the whole dry cleaning issue. 
that you want to clean it as little as possible, which could be less than you're currently doing. So go home, give that some thoughts. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. How often are you dry cleaning it right now? What is your telltale signs to take it into the dry cleaners? And just chime in. So don't forget to subscribe. We will be back more episodes and we'll do a lot more, I think, uh, in the coming month or so on dry cleaning and maybe some topics on uh, dress shirts. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it.